Hello, and welcome to Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Ward with me, I'm Tiber. Oh yeah, so he is. Anyway, let's get going. <laughs> uh, I want to talk to the one-armed man. He usually does things. Do you like him? Anyway. Those balls! I'd forgotten what it was like to feel so alive. Not since my, uh, leaving the Blood Sands. Wait. Oh, okay. Have I ever had the privilege? Not since the Bull of Alamigo hung his sword, up his sword. Back then, the outcome might have been different. But I do not begrudge you your victory. I know how far you've come. How much you've endured. Our final fight only confirmed it. Our fight only confirmed it. We shall have to do this again one day. One <coughs> time allows. I shall look forward to it now. Go. Go to the Ash Guardians and celebrate your victory. You have earned it. Come, Pippin. Her grace is expecting us. Who's Pippin? Oh, that's Pippin. Lead on, father! Uh, Pippin's potato. the one that he's the, thing he yeah. does at the start. He, he's the adopted potato. Potato. Potato! Oh, look at that. It's a potato. Oh, yes. That might be a helpful. It also means a cadet war to you. Heedy ho, but he. Such a good buzz. Yeah, sure. We talked to one guy. In all the years I've known Raban, I cannot recall ever seeing him look so happy in defeat. Well, everything seems to be falling into place, does not? His guardians have claimed the symbolic victory, and the Yorls and Elizan have been strengthened in the process. I'm proud, sisters. You made this happen. Yep. I'll take the ball, bee. I might as well take that star. Yay! <coughs> I can now do this. <coughs> Not sittery. Hmm. Hmm. V pause. Oh. Oh, I like that. Mm hmm. That. Okay. <laughs> that was Cloud's victory pose for the most part. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh. Anyway, we should get like. <laughs> that would have so cute. Did you see that? Oh. See? Have you seen this one? No. Cute. <laughs> anyway, we should probably like get moving by the way. Indeed. Anyway! I cannot help but wonder what would have happened had you lost. Fantastical though such a state of affairs unquestionably is, I dare say the world would simply have ended. <laughs> it's technically or... true, because we would have had to start over. <coughs> have we have done it, and uh, you have done it. You have brought us victory we so desperately needed. There is not else left but to return to the capital. Come. Let us see what a reception awaits us. Reception. Oh, cutting? Yep. I bet it's something terrible. Hey, hey, hey. Bye. You know, what with almost every one of the major authority figures in the city being out at the same time. My lord! Oh, look, he's back. Hello, little boy. You got a washing. Onurwa, my boy. Shouldn't you be in bed? <laughs> Thank you for your concern, my lord. But I have largely recovered from my ordeal. And I have naught but several scars to show for it. Which I have been told. 
Some women may find <laughs> appealing. appealing. I see. And to think I was worried sick over you. I'm not sure I understand, my lord. Well, let's put that theory to the proof, shall we? M my, my lord? <laughs> Give him some new scars. Like many things have occurred in my absence. I thought I might begin to make amends by welcoming you in person. The messengers spared not their chocobos to bring us word of your I'm victory in the grand the door. melee. I cannot well like, describe Like, literally right outside the town. You didn't need to spare chocobos or anything. You could just walk. It called to mind the day we rejoined the Aeorzean Alliance, and I glimpsed hope rekindled in the eyes of the people. The Fury herself ushers us into a new era. Sir Emmerich, the time is now. Ah, oh, you're welcome. Aye, that it is. Reconvene the conference and summon Vidofnia to Falcon's Nest. We will make peace with Race Belga's brood and hasten this bloody war to its end. Yes, Lord Commander. Somebody check that bloody portrait before I will we reveal it. to Artoirel and bid him resume preparations. Emanelaine, ah. you will place yourself at your brother's disposal. Emanelaine, you will place you will yourself at your brother's assistance. disposal. He will be glad to be of assistance to you. I accidentally right clicked twice. Like of left your click assistance. and then left, right click. Hmm? I love it when that happens. Well, you'll be glad to have. You will be at his disposal to to, to assist him. You'll, you'll be happy to have your assistance. He's he's not going to assist yeah, you. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. No sure. stopping it now, is there? We should Next inform Stola and the others. People can just read for themselves if they really want. Mm -hmm. My dear friend, I doubt I will ever be able to thank you enough. But when the conference is successfully concluded, I damn well mean to try. Death flag! You know, I mildly spoiled things for me, and that's only because I know who quest givers are. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you say you jeweled General Roban with a within a ring of flames. I did not think the man so ostentatious. Boy, would that I could have seen it. After we parted ways at Mandoya's cave, I returned here to speak to Tartaru. Uh, we agreed to tell the others that our search for Minfilia is well reached in the impasse. I subsequently learned uh, that you had left uh, for Falcon Reach, but I thought it best to keep myself for a time. I want to rely upon you over much when we are together, and I need to think, to reflect. It's true. I still do, I suspect, but matters here seem to be coming to a head, and short... There are some things I feel I must say, nothing so urgent that I cannot wait until after the conference. Let us uh, make for Fal Falcon's Nest and see Lord Artoriel uh, has, has need for our assistance. If Lord Artoriel has need for our assistance, I was trying to read that and see if I got it right. I think I got it right. Eh, you know. Could be. Sounded right. Not Artorius though, the Abyss Walker. That would have been cool. <laughs> What? Abyss walkers. I hate dealing with abyss walkers. Lord, Ar Lord Artorius of the abyss walking. Walkers. <laughs> Do you remember where it's from? No. You don't? Or are you just being sarcastic again? I could be both, but no, I don't. Uh, Lord Artorius of the abyss walkers is from Dark Souls 3. Okay, see, Two. that's that would be one, 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 one. Uh, Sorry, one. All right. Well, met Mr. Sporanic, and thank you for looking after my brother. They say he fought bravely, but he did not dishonor his house. But you, my lady, you we owe everything. Yeah, I get that a lot. As you can see, we've made every effort to strike while the iron is hot. 
made our intentions known, and that all would be welcome to attend. And so they came. By the grace of the fury, they came. The ceremony will not be a lengthy affair, but there's still much to be done. I'd speak with you more, but I must see to my duties. As for you and Master Alvino, would you will do not but enjoy yourselves, is that clear? If any dare beg your assistance again, I will have words. No, seriously, somebody well, somebody needs there to you check have that it. painting. Hmm? Um, somebody needs to check that painting. I mean it. Well, there you have it. You've been forbidden from meddling. Shall we wait, or will we have? Uh, do you have other matters to attend to before the ceremony? Uh... Wait, just do wait. Just wait. Excellent. Right. I was hoping. I only hope that Sancred Nailers will not be late. Epochial events. Uh... Epochial. Epochial. Epochal. Uh, events do not come around very often, after all. Cutscene. I think it's basically asking, hey, by the way, we're probably going to be in a cutscene for a bit. Do you want to be yeah. in a cutscene for a bit? That's a lot of people! That's a lot of the same person and the same Yeah, outfit. I was about to say, that's a lot of, like, three people. Or ten people. It's, it's a fashion thing. What, mannequins? I really yeah, they are hope. kind of a fashion thing, mannequins. I really hope somebody checked that. Seriously. Uh, why don't we just like, wait and see, instead of constantly figuring on the same thing. Prediction. Yes. We've already made it, though. We don't need to keep the making it. The appointed hour approaches. Aye. Oh, I thought she died. No, I saved her. She begged leave to watch the proceedings. I saw no reason not to grant it. Uh, she's up to something. Evidently. Should I choose to deviate from my prepared remarks? I ask that you trust in my judgment. Have I ever done otherwise? Oh, get married already, you do. Ah, how long it hath been since our peoples met thus, children of Thordon, even by our reckoning. Vidofnir, daughter of Hresvelga, we give thanks for your visit, and bid you welcome to Falcon's Nest. Our sire bade us hearken unto the whispers of our hearts. They spoke to us of a paradise lost, of bonds of brotherhood, which they yearn to see restored. Ours too yearn for such a restoration, and they have guided us here this day, that they might yearn no longer. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, ye who stand as witness, hearken to me. Since the days of Eld, when the bonds betwixt man and dragon were sundered by our hand, our peoples have known only war. Bloodshed without end. Losses beyond counting, what and you still we fought, and still we fought. They can't hear you. I know, however, chill. Some wounds do not heal. The dead cannot be returned to us. Ooh. But we the living can yet choose another course. Here and now, we can lay down this burden, this hatred, this vengeance. 
Our forebears fought not so that we could die, but that we might live. So let us honor their sacrifice and spare our children this death sentence. Let us gift them a new legacy. Life. Betwixt our peoples yawneth a divide deeper than the deepest abyss, wider than the widest sea. Generations will live and die ere this divide is bridged. Knowing this, doth thy heart yet yearn for peace, son of Thordon? <coughs> Look now on the legacy we would leave to our children. A dream of peace, inscribed in stone for generations to come. Oh, it is something cool. Oh? Hmm. That's a big crystal. Father and his beloved, as they were so long ago, happy and at peace. The dream they shared shall be ours once more. I am pleasantly surprised. Ta da! Da 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 da! Well, that's funky magic powers. Mm-hmm. Consort with the spawn of Thornton, that thou wouldst dare contemplate peace! Hearken unto me, all of you! The final chorus is nigh, and all will be held to account. All will bathe in the flames of retribution. Till the coming of that day, look you on your sins and despair, for none shall escape my wrath. None shall escape my revenge! Seven hells. Oh, okay. Just we gotta kill you again. Well, we already knew that. But at the same point in time, I'm wondering how the piece is gonna go with that happening. Uh, they just watched a dragon kill a dragon. I know. Hells, take that worm! While he lives, we'll never know peace. 
I. There'll be no end to this war till Nidhogg is dead and gone. So let's kill the bastard and be done with it. Death to Nidhogg. 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 See, I'm wondering how long we've got, then. Mm hmm. <sighs> there they go. The last of our guests, having come hither with hope in their hearts, they depart with hatred and bloodlust. Until the moment I saw them strike. <sighs> I saw him strike, even. I still held some small hope that you had what you had seen as Aziz La was an illusion of parts. But he acted without hesitation, as did Sir Emmerich. For a mercy, Vodofnir's wounds was not mortal. So, Lucia tells me, the dragon was spirited away to Artix Anyakstein to recover uh, to receive care from her brethren. We can but hope her recovery is swift. But such was surely Nethog's intent, to deliver a proclaim proclamation, not only to the children of Rob Martin, but his, mo his own kindred. War is coming, and ye who dare not stand with us stand apart. <sighs> she was an example, a message to her brood, another instrument in his vengeance like a Stinian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I don't actually know what I want to pick. I don't know. I grabbed the Healy what? Stick. Oh? Yeah, I grabbed, like I grabbed the Healy me? Stick. Well, you know, I, I don't have any high-level healing, healing gear yet. Hmm. Hmm. Next scenario quest! Oh? Oh? Oh, question marks. Okay. I wish I knew what that next scenario quest was, because then I could actually, you know, fame. Uh, causes and costs. Okay. When I said I wished to speak with you after the conference, I confess I envisioned a much happier circumstance. If anything, however, this latest tragedy makes uh, the need more pressing. There is uh, things, I must say. Not to the Warrior of Light, or even my fellow Scion, but to you, my friends. But not here, no. In the bedroom. No, what? ah, but of course. I'm okay with this. The Internes... The Internesry in Camp Dragonhead is still open to us. Let us go there. Internesry. <laughs> Uh, no, like the grr, grr, grr. Whoop. Okay, I'll let you finish it then. I mean, honestly, it would have finished it about the same time. But... Uh, yours was actually slightly ahead. <laughs> Thought because of lag, you were even further ahead than that. So, you know. <sighs> oh, right, this place. Uh... 
You remember this down here. You remember this down here, right? Yeah. Like down here and along. And over where you're standing. Greetings, madams. Shall I throw you inside? Oh, look, it's destination. Destination is known. But it's not our final one. Oh. Forgive me. That took longer than expected. It's hard to find hot chocolate in these times. You seem puzzled. Oh, these. I thought something warming might not go amiss. Is he asking us out on a date? That'd be so adorable. It was not all that long ago that we sat here, you and I. Mm. In our very own falling snows, as Lord Horshvon called it. I still struggle to believe he is gone. And Azel, too. I had such hopes for her. Master Matoya asked me what it was all for. Why we fight. And why we die. Were I still commander of the Braves, I would doubtless have replied, for the future of Eorzea. But I'm not that man. Not anymore. I needed a new answer. One that I could live with. And when I saw Estinian at the ceremony, I knew at last what it was. I do not want to be a man who sacrifices his friends and family for a cause. I want to fight for Astinian, and I want to save him. When Nidhogg leads the Horde into battle, Ser Emmerich and his forces will do what they believe must be done. That is their choice to make. Yet even if Ser Emmerich is willing to forsake Astinian, I am not. Hmm. We must fight for him, for he is our friend and ally. We may struggle, we may fail, but we must try. So what is it about these drinks? I don't understand you, little boy. <laughs> he doesn't know. Oh, is it seriously just because of that? Oh, okay. Ah, the last time they were in this room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just. Those in need. Lord Orshafon would be proud. I knew you would understand. Together, we will surely find a way. And if not, we can call your sister. Pew pew. Why is calling his sister a pew pew moment? <laughs> She doesn't Because she's a gone. magic person too. <sighs> pew pew. Thank you, sisters. It is unfair of me to burden my, uh, unburden myself in this manner, time after time. But I'm glad that you permitted, nonetheless. You're truly my friend and ally and silent protagonist. You, you want to spend Though the not night. after all of our fellow silence <laughs> will support our stance on Estinian, I have faith that we will win over in due course. Such as the infectious power of hope. And the fact that if I say it, it happens. Right. That is quite enough seldom introspection for one day. I think we would both benefit from the time in the company of Tartaru. She says, uh, stays for us at Fort Homps Manor. Let us not keep her waiting any longer. <sighs> mm. uh. <sighs> I'm trying to see if we can possibly get that before the end. We're at 29 minutes. Uh, no. Oh. It's probably going to start another long cutscene. Ah, <sighs> fine. Will we then? Ah, uh, might as well. No, I mean, like, drop the episode for now. Hi. No, uh, okay. Yeah, right. Cool. So we'll leave there, and until next time, all the best, Dan. Good night, everybody. Victory pose!